Welcome back. So, very exciting after work visit. Um, we went to a specialty store, the only one that we could find around here, and we got something pretty awesome for the garden. We're super excited about it. Let's go home and I'll show you what we got. We're back at home now. So, the big reveal of what I got for the gardens is goat panel. Not cattle panel, goat panel. So, we're actually gonna use these guys for the trellises in our raised beds and our in-ground garden. It's gonna look really good when we're done. It's a few days later, we slacked a little bit um, but it's time to hammer in some of the T-posts and get these arches up. Come along while I hammer in the hot sun. I'm going to start off with the three pound hammer that I got for forging. This is, I don't want to have to lift the sledgehammer that high. Now it's sledgehammer time. So, that was actually easy because it rained today, so. Whew, am I happy about that. So, I got a few more to do, so I'm gonna hop to it and we'll show you the end result when it's all put together. All right, so, kind of the men with the hammer, which was, I don't know if I said this before, much, much easier today because of the rain we got, so the ground was a little softer, so awesome. Uh, but now, Steph is home. So we're gonna start putting up the goat panels and get some trellises in this garden, which we're super excited about. And then untangle peas. And then untangle peas. Those guys, they're not happy. They so. grew a little quickly. Oops. So I'm just kind of helping because all of these peas had gotten kind of big and they were all intertwined and they don't really know where to go so I have to teach them just by like kind of tying them around the trellis so that they'll climb up it and we'll have to do it on this side too. And there we go. We managed to get up all of the trellises. One, two, three, and four. So one for peas. What's this one for, Steph? Uh, that one is red noodle beans and red Malabar spinach. And these two over here? Those are for melons. What kind of melons? Kajari melon. Tigger melon and Minnesota midget uh, cantaloupe. But this isn't all the trellises. What? So we also have to get, it's like concrete wire mesh with four by four inch squares, uh, but it's significantly cheaper in Canada and that's going to support all the tomatoes and there's like a wall of beans that's gonna go up um, against the fence. 
It's obviously a few days later now, our battery died kind of mid-sentence. Um, the la One of the last projects we had to do for the garden this year was figuring out where all our berry bushes were going and we decided to put them in this corner behind me. So I have three left to plant. I have a Saskatoon berry bush and two Hascap berry bushes to go in the front of this area here and then I have to mulch the whole thing. And we already have a wild blackberry, sorry, a wild raspberry, two other raspberry bushes and a blueberry. There's two other blueberries in the yard that I had thought died and they didn't, so I'm just giving them some time to establish and then I'm gonna move them. It's like its own little mini teeny tiny greenhouse. Last winter I didn't protect our blueberries and the bunnies ate them all. So that's what that is. Yes, and then they're also gonna get the same wire that we have around the trees to keep rabbits away because the plants that I got this year are teeny tiny. Good luck. What are you doing? Being a duck? That's good. What are you doing? Being a duck? That's good. We were out here the other day, and in our garlic bed, we found a potato plant. Dun dun dun! The garlic bed was the potato bed last year, so it didn't really surprise us that much, but hopefully it doesn't interfere with our beautiful garlic. And the meat birds are all doing okay. Eating and doing their thing. The quail are also happy in the long grass. And the patch is unhappy that we're not over there. Hey, right, Patch. Hey, right, Patch. So many things to say. None of them pleasant. Why? And there's this boy sunbathing. Right? You said mating? Yeah. And then there's way off in the distance the zipper is relaxing underneath the tree. Well, it's probably going to be it for today. Um, busy day, busy week, really. And uh, yeah. If you want to see the garden, we're going to start garden tours soon. So if you want to see those, make sure to click on that subscribe button. Give us a like. We'll see you next time. Bye.